What's going on? Here with Nate, this is Crossbeats Production. I want to go through a review and my thoughts on the new Neutron 3 plug-in. I want to go through that, whether or not it's worth the money, um, whether or not you should upgrade or not. Hopefully inside it won't be too loud. Let's go inside and we'll check that out right now. What's going on? Here with Nate, this is Crossbeats Production and thank you guys for tuning in. Let's go through Neutron 3. I'll give you my thoughts, my opinions, and all that good stuff on this plugin. We'll go through some of the features as well and address some of the things that I think should have been updated or shouldn't be, or if it's good or it's not. So let's go right now. So we're here with Neutron 3. This is on the screen right now, and you can see the plugin itself has been a little bit updated as far as the GUI. Uh, the plugin does look a lot better now, in my opinion, compared to Neutron 2. Uh, I recently just bought Neutron 2, so I'm kind of a bit like it's a kick in the pants because some of the features I think should have already been in 2 uh, because, you know, 1 addressed some of the good stuff, but then they got to 2 and I thought, well, they should have already had a GUI that could be resized. But hey, now that you can do that, um, that's kind of cool. So that's one of the good features that I really enjoyed. Uh, I like the way they've laid out this GUI as well. I like the, I guess, the way it looks and it shows you what's happening in the mix. It's a lot easier to see now, especially when it comes to the compressor. Uh, I really like the way the compressor looks. It does allow you now to really get in there in the nitty gritty and visually inspect as well as listen um, to your mix and gauge what's happening in the mix. But with this plugin, they've updated some of the things. So you can see again with this compressor, I'll just actually play the mix. I'll just turn it down a bit, but we'll just play that. So let's play that. You can now see with the compressor uh, when it's actually compressing, this is a lot better. The visual aspect of that is really cool. I still obviously recommend don't look, you need to listen. Uh, but that's the way it, it does show you now kind of where it's actually hitting the compressor. The attack and release is now more visual. So it gives you a bit more of, of an idea of where things are at. Um, and then you can judge things a bit more accurately by milliseconds and things like that as well. So that's kind of cool. Um, they also allow you to do um, the automatic and attack auto gains and release got the adjust in volume so it automatically adjusts for the reduction you've got the rms peak and true these are the same three that they've had for the last three plugins now um, they're still quite good good compressors um, this compressor is probably one of the go-to's actually to be honest uh, the neutron 2 compressor is one of the ones i really like to use um, now that i can visually see things i do think it's an, an improvement um, but again, it's a little bit of a steep hike if you've just paid for it and then you've got another upgrade to pay for. Just bear that in mind, if you want to update to it or if you've never used these plugins before, I would suggest these are really high quality kind of plugins if you're just getting into the Isotope family um, of plugins. So uh, we'll just get into the other plugin that I really enjoyed on this uh, plugin suite, which they just brought out, which is the Sculptor. The Sculptor will just have a... actually. Yeah, we'll have a listen to the sculptor and see what it can actually do on one of these instruments. So let's just um, play this track. We'll just get to this section here. I'll bypass that. And we'll just load this up. I'm just in the demo version because I haven't really spoken to Isotope about getting a plugin um, code. I just want to review it. So let's go through the sculptor and see what it can do. So this is like a keys kind of thing. It's more of a synth kind of lead. So we'll have a listen to that and see what Sculptor is able to do on this uh, this actual instrument. So that's the one in the blue, solo that. I actually really don't mind that. It's very handy to get the right sound quite fast. And the way I understand that this plugin works is more like a multi-band dynamic compressor, um, maybe slash EQ. But from what I read in the manual, it's got multiple bands, more than four, that's for sure. It's like 32 bands or something like that. And it's actually reducing some of the frequencies and allowing some uh, expansion on the rest. So I don't know if it's expansion, but it's allowing some of the high-end frequencies to go through. So it's re reducing when you use this tone, you can either reduce the the uh, the highs. So if you go down to low tone or high tone, that's going to increase the highs you'll hear here. So that quite... Um, it's quite handy to get the right sound fast and you can see how quick I was able to tune in that sound. So if I play that in the mix. Yeah. 
So it's, it's really a good plugin in that sense. Um, you can really get in there and sculpt things quite fast and get an accurate kind of sound that you want. So um, I really got to praise them on that plugin. There's only a few plugins out there that kind of does something similar to that um, that were available a while ago, but nothing that is that, I think, that good anyway that's capable of doing this type of thing as fast as this does. Um, the EQ itself, I really still like the EQ. I just love the fact that you can go in there and reduce and now it shows you i'll just remove that um, now it shows you what's happening in the mix so you can actually see where the reduction is happening whereas before it was this kind of like either before or after visual uh, but now you can kind of see both at the same time that's quite quite cool the other thing i like here you can actually solo the band now rather than just having this thing which is what you could do before you had to actually just go in there and hold down alt and drag it across and just have that kind of thing. Now you can actually solo the particular band that you're working with. So like that. Uh, I also like the fact that the dynamic EQ, everything is kind of generally in this area now. Um, they've, they've kind of moved everything from the bottom to be in this one particular spot. So if you want a dynamic section on this plugin, you just hit dynamic, increase, uh, you sorry, activate the side chain and you can go to external if you want an external side chain or internal if you want internal. Um, that's kind of cool. So that's all there. Then you just hide that away if you don't want it. Uh, you can either get rid of that as well if you wanted to, uh, if you didn't need that EQ curve there. Uh, and also with the masking side of it, you've got this ability now to just go up here with the masking tab, just drag down to whatever you want to compare whether or not it's masking to. And now you can visually inspect that and check it out um, and also increase the sensitivity so it shows you the uh, the masking and what's happening there so if i'm looking at this um, now i can see kind of visually on this one scale kind of where things are at so also you've got the learn function here so if you activate um, which i might just go back to this eq thing here so if I'm just playing this, you can actually activate this and it learns where the, I guess the frequency should be attenuated or, or boosted. Um, it does, it did that previously on the plugin as well before, but it's just, it's just much better now that you can see the, the whole thing a lot larger and you can actually see where things are at um, and that sort of thing. So like that, um, the other thing with the compressor, like I mentioned before, I really love how this is more visual and the three setting, settings there and you've got the attack and release ratio and makeup and the mix so you can do parallel and then it's got the side chain so you can use this compressor as a side chain compressor as well just on its own as an ind independent compressor uh, the exciter itself um, it's still kind of the same kind of flavors so you got retro tape warm and tube but um, the way they've laid it out just looks cool so that's kind of cool up here i like that and I like how you can just put in the bands here to actually choose what bands you want. Same thing goes with the compressor as well. You can actually do multi-band compression. Um, that's kind of cool. I don't know if there's a limit on the bands. Yeah, there is. So you've got three bands of multi-band. Um, let's see what, yeah, three bands of that as well. So that's kind of neat, very good. Um, you can also do this. So if you wanted to just isolate some of these, like I was saying before, you can get rid of the frequencies that you don't want to compress and use the multi-band. So it's kind of nice. I like that. Um, I don't know if, I would probably upgrade, but it's a lot of money for me to have to fork out again just to upgrade to another plugin. Maybe Isotope might see this video. I don't know. The gate um, itself is a good gate. I really enjoy this using this gate on, on a set of drums that needs to get rid of some of the room and stuff like that. Even on vocals or anything that you just want to create some rhythm, that's what a gate is good for. Uh, so you've got all those functions there. You've got your transient shaper as well. So that's kind of neat. I like how they've just laid out this plugin in general. Um, the next thing that they really tried to go for is the plugin to be able to mix your track for you. Now, I don't know how well um, an AI plugin can do that. It's kind of okay. The, the example they showed on the video is kind of neat, but um, the actual plugin, when you're looking at it and doing it yourself, I felt like on this particular mix, it really didn't hit the ballpark um, at all. I felt like it kind of destroyed my mix, but I tend to go through the process of pink noise when I mix and that's how I get my static mix and that's something that's worked for me for a very long time um, and I really enjoy doing that. So so anyway, I'll let you guys see the video on the actual Isotope plugin site. If you want me to do a mix like that using the Relay plugin and the Mix Assistant, I can do that and on a separate video, but I really want to cover this as a whole, just as a review. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel as well, and I'm gonna get some more tutorials on Studio One, all these other plugins that I wanna look at as well. Um, SBL Iron is another plugin I'm gonna review shortly, uh, but we'll get to that and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.